Well, good morning, my stitchy friends. How is everybody today? Welcome to the Needlebug. My name is Karen, and today we're going to do another stitch with me on Fred, because you know we are on the mission, the mission to get Fred finished. So, if you are new here, thank you so much for stopping by and giving the channel a chance. We are mainly about cross stitch and other forms of embroidery, hard anger, um, other kinds of white work, but mainly just cross stitch and hard anger. And if you are returning, thank you so, so much for being one of those people who keep coming back to listen to whatever happens on any given day. And one never knows what they're going to find. So today, is another stitch with me on Fred. Um, I don't think I'm going to play music this time. I think I'll actually have some ramblings to ramble about. I think. <laughs> we'll, we shall see. Um, yeah. Let me see where we're at. I had didn't well, I didn't work on Fred a whole lot this week because, oh my, my, did I have a bout of something on Monday night. I was so sick. I was at the point where I just didn't know what to do with myself. I couldn't sit. I couldn't lay down. I couldn't. I was nauseous. I wanted to vomit. I, um, I, I was belching like crazy. My stomach hurt so bad. I'm kind of wondering if I didn't have, oops, have a little bit of food poisoning. Kind of thought maybe that's the case, but I was, I'm not sure. I was dehydrated. Oh, it was it was not fun. It knocked me on my butt, let me tell you. And all day, well, that was Monday night. Tuesday, nope. Didn't do too much on Tuesday either. Kind of just relaxed, hung around, slept. Yeah, but all is better today. So we thought, okay, we need to come on here and get a little bit of a video done. This one will, is in the daytime, obviously, and not late at night. <laughs> so what happens when you can't sleep. You decide hmm, it might be a good time to record a video. <laughs> so that's exactly what I did. So let's see what has what has been going on? Not, not a whole lot. Things have been just rather quiet. Heat. Holy smokes it's hot. Um, We've kind of decided we're, we're staying indoors and not going outside too awful much. Mm -hmm, looks like I did these already and didn't mark them off. Well, isn't that just a nice, pleasant surprise? Um, Yeah, it's it's just it's just hot. <laughs> and my husband needs to stay in and have the air conditioning on because of his breathing issues. So he kinda is just hanging out and reading a book and doing what 
whatever, any kind of ex too much exertion just <clears throat> knocks him for a bit of a loop. But yeah, I was, oh my. I have not been, not felt that bad in a long, long time. I said to him this morning, I said, you know, I don't get sick often. I really don't. But boy, when I do, it's uh, something It sends me for a loop. Yeah. So let's see. Last week, I went to the kids, to the grandkids, and uh, my Mother's Day present was a day with Emmy, and then tomorrow is going to be a day with Abram. However, <laughs> it ended up on Friday being a day with both Emmy and Abram, which was perfectly fine, absolutely fine. Normally, I though I try and do them separately because you know they're like uh, typical young children who um, each one wants to be the center of attention, and then they kind of get in little arguments about that. So a lot of times I'll do spend time with them separately so that that doesn't happen. And then whichever one it is, and Nana can have a nice fun time. But it turned out quite all right on Friday. We went to, and my daughter went along, so that was nice too. We went to Salad Works and had lunch. And after Salad Works, we went to a movie at the Cinema Center. And we saw Despicable 2, which that was quite nice. And then we went home and did a couple board games and by that time, it was time for Nana to go home. And the kids had a soccer thing in the evening, so it all worked out just, just perfectly. It was nice. Now tomorrow, when I go down, We'll do the same thing. It will be all of us, the four of us, and we'll go have lunch somewhere, probably someplace different. I don't think we'll go to Salad Works again. I never seen two young children that like Salad Works the way those kids do. My gosh, that's one of their favorite places to go eat, which is great absolutely great they're not i mean they do like fast food too but they're not uh they're not big on fast food if you ask them they sooner have they sooner have the salad works so work for me uh, but tomorrow we are going like i said to have lunch and then after lunch, we're going to a escape room. This should be quite interesting. <laughs> I've, never, I've never done that. Uh, my daughter has. Uh, the kids never have done that, but she was able to book one. I get, you have to make obviously reservations in advance. And she was able to get one that was 
fairly easy so that um, hopefully we can find our way out. <laughs> like I said, it should be quite interesting. Like I said, I've never done one, so I would imagine that there's you get all kinds of clues and you have to figure out how to unlock the door is my guesstimation of the way it works, but we shall see. We shall see. It will be quite interesting. Um, yeah. <laughs> I can't remember the name of the one she signed us up for, but supposedly it's easy enough, or we hope it's easy enough that we can uh, <laughs> that we can actually escape before they have to let us out. <laughs> Because I guess, it, I'm, I think it works that you get an hour to uh, figure it all out. And then if you don't, if you don't, within that time period, then they come and they let you out. But you're kind of sort of locked in this room <laughs> for that amount of time. So like I said, we shall see. Where do I want to go here? I think I'll start. I think I think I will start in here and then work my way down and fill this in. I think that's what we will do. Like I said, this is this is all a lot of one color stitching, which is really kind of nice. And yeah, I have it on it back in a hoop on my stand. Um, some of you that have been here for a long while know that or know knew that I had trouble with my thumb a couple years ago and had some surgery on it but now it seems to be doing the same thing again this is not good this is not fun so when I come to the realization that I've probably overused it a bit, then I try and make sure I'm not um, aggravating it even more and I'll put things back in a hoop and stitch this way. So, the thought here is to get Fred finished. Well, I was, I did want him finished before my birthday, but that's not going to happen because we're already at the, what, 19th of June, and my birthday happens to be in the very, very beginning of July. So I don't think that's going to happen because we still have, I'll, and I'll look in a second here, I just wanted to Make sure I'm not going to lose, lose the place. Okay. So that was up. I hate when 
time I do that. Okay, that was those. We have <laughs> we hit eighty nine percent. Oh my lord! Only one more percent, and we're at ninety. And we only have, I say only, <laughs> with a chuckle. I say only, only have eight thousand four hundred and fifty five more stitches to go. <laughs> now. If I were to stitch nonstop, don't eat, don't sleep, don't do anything, I could probably do that. But uh, I don't foresee that going to happen. So, <laughs> yeah. So we, but that's where we are. 89.01%. 8,455 to go. The light is certainly at the end of the tunnel. Most definitely. Which makes my day. Like I said, I really want this one to be done. I'm, I'm, uh, it's been way too long. I have totally procrastinated when it came to this piece. And I don't know why, because it's it's gorgeous, but I think it's because there were just other things that I really wanted to work on and chose to work on rather than work on this. And, uh, Fred just got put by the wayside. And I really do need to start Adam's sampler. That's going to be, um, it's called Snowman. And it's gorgeous. However, <laughs> right now I'm stuck in the land of blue. And that one is going to be more of the land of blue. <laughs> oh my, my, my. Blue in my world is kind of turning out to be like black. <laughs> Where everybody has a bazillion stitches of black to stitch. I am now going to have a bazillion stitches of blue to stitch. Yeah. But, have to do it, have to do it. And so far, well, other than the fact that when I didn't feel so great, um, Setting, setting a daily achievement for Fred has been, has been working. I, I pick him up every day and try and do 200 stitches every day. Some days I've done more. There have been a couple days where I didn't do quite 200, but it was close. So it kind of comes out in the wash. But that seems to be 
working. And then after I do that commitment, then I can stitch on something else that I want to stitch on. So I think when Fred is done, I'm going to continue that with Snowman, the, the one for Adam. I'm kind of, I'm kind of liking that idea and so far it has, it has helped. Because if it wouldn't be for that, I don't know that I would pick Fred up every day. I'm not so sure that I would. Because, you know, I get, I can get sidetracked really easy. And, and want to stitch on what I want to stitch on and not necessarily meet the commitment. So I'm gonna gonna try that. And then the other I'm going to limit the number of projects that I'm going to work on. I have too many started and nothing near a finish. So I am stitching, um, I can't say it, Mont. Martra, Aunt Martra, spring with a friend. And I have a little bit of that started, but she's kind of way ahead of me. But then I am cropping it down where she's doing the whole thing. So that will kind of hopefully even itself out. And it's not a rush have to do. It's a stitch at your own pace kind of kind of deal. So that works out pretty. That works out pretty nice. What did I just do there? Miss the hole. And then the other one I'm doing the sewing woman, and I'm stitching that together with another friend. So I have a little bit of that started. So those are going to be for sure three projects that I will be working on. And the question will remain, or am I gonna keep it just at those three and alternate between them? Or am I going to add something else? Adam's stocking will be... Now you realize I talk big. <laughs> because all this is probably going to change. Adam's stocking will be the daily stitch for 200 stitches a day. And that plan will be to do it every day. Every day, 200 stitches a day. I forget how many stitches are in that uh, chart, but I would imagine it's about the same number as in, in this because most of the stockings are all the same size. So it will take me a little bit. Maybe I won't have it done this year, but hopefully it would be done next year.
next year for Christmas. I mean, that, that is the plan. I'm looking down here when I'm stitching up here. Oh, no wonder you can't seem to find your place, you silly. Yeah. There you go. Okay, so we go. Ooh, had myself in a dipper there for a moment, and then we unthread our needle. How cool is that? Not. <laughs> That happens to me sometimes when you look away and you're trying to make sure where you're at and mark things off and then I kind of lose myself because I am what I decided to do to finish this. Is I'm color completing because there are such big chunks of color. So I am working by color, but I'm not working by color through the whole rest of the stocking. I'm working by color in small sections. So for this one, I have like a 30 by, a 30 by 30 section. And that's what I'm, that's what I'm working within at this point. And then when I have all of that filled in with whatever is called for in that area, then I will go to another area or move over to another 30 by 30 section and complete that area. So it will all get done in the end. That's really back in the day when I stitched full coverage and it really, I don't know, it was not a big thing to say, oh, that's full coverage um, at that point in time. Um, Sorry, my daughter just texted me. Um, but that's how I stitched back then. Seven, okay. And I used, you know, here with uh, the apps that we have, we can highlight the color. But back then I used markers and I would color in a symbol and then I would stitch all of that symbol within that area. And then when that was done, I would color in the next symbol and stitch all of that within that area. And really, honestly, that worked 
very, very well. And now that I think about it, it could just become my preferred way to stitch. You know, because I would limit the size of the area and I would just go by color and and fill it fill that color in and then when I had that color filled in I highlight the next color and fill that color in and just keep going that way until until it was done. So it all worked. Half an hour, okay. So I think oh, sometimes you go back to the ancient ways that you used to do things a long, long time ago. And that was, wow, it was back in the day where I was just learning and didn't didn't know as much as I do today. Not that I know all that much, but more than I did back in the 70s and 80s. <laughs> This one, because another color is going to get filtered in there. And now with that, we need a new piece of thread again. So let's see, we're at a half an hour and I've done, well that's not too shabby, 103 stitches in a half hour. I don't know Karen, you're getting better. <laughs> Normal, well, it's all one color too, does that tell you anything? Let's see, normally I don't even get close to that. Well. I get maybe normally I get a hundred stitches in an hour but like I said with this being all one color it's going a whole lot faster now I have a piece of thread in here that's not it it's stuck on here somewhere okay hopefully this got a little crinkled because I want to show you a trick. How many times? Well, this one isn't so bad. Let me see if I can pull another one out. And have it be that way. Or be what I'm looking for. There we go. How many times have you pulled out your strand of floss and it comes out like this, like that, all curly, crinkled up, curly. Okay, here's what you do. Tip of the day, wrap it around your index finger, take the other end, wrap it around your index finger. So now you got thread on two index fingers and it's all kinked up okay separate your fingers and 
just pull it, snap it a couple times. Now look at your thread. The kinks are gone. Okay, you might have a little bit in the ends where you wrapped it around your finger, but here, I'm not I'm not stretching it tight because here's my other hand. The kinks are gone. So if you ever get curlier than curly thread when you pull it out, just do that. Wrap one end, wrap the ends around your index fingers and just snap the thread. Tug on it a couple times. And your kinks will be gone. Just a little trick you learn over the years. Okay, so there. So now we want to start. We did there and there. So now we want to start. Oh, this one, this is not a stitch. This is where I was ending my thread on the front. So we're just going to cover that up. And yes, sometimes I do that. Sometimes I will end threads on the front. I think I showed all of you how to do that at one point in time. And that's just a matter of coming up like in the center here and then just working your needle like underneath these two stitches and ending it that way. If that's okay, but for me, it doesn't, it, I don't feel like I'm hiding it well enough. I can tell. Probably nobody else can, but I can tell. And I already have enough things on this piece that I'm not 100% happy with, but you know what? It's going to be what it's going to be. Some of it's going to disappear when it's washed and ironed. And probably the only one that's ever going to notice is me. So I am not going to get in a dither about it. I'm just going to stitch merrily along and finish this, and it's going to be what it is. So let's see. 29, we'll do about five more minutes or so. day and I'll soon have met my won't take me long to meet my 200 stitches on this for the day So it's really great of all you guys to stop by and keep me company while I do.
because if you do that, I did that, I did those three, I did this one, and I gotta skip one, skip one blank one and go up to this one. Now probably I could continue up through here with this color. However, it's outside of the square that I am uh, restricting myself to. And there's enough of the enough other stitches of this color up in this section that it's no big deal to that whole section is going to be this color. Skip one. skip this one go here there we go okay well I think we're gonna call this a day yeah because you have about 45 minutes and I don't like to make them too much longer so we did a hundred and fourteen oh no I didn't mark off what I just did I guess that would help wouldn't it Not that it makes that much difference, but hey, every stitch counts, right? All right, so we did 120. That took us to 89.09. So 120, I have another 80 stitches to do to meet my target for the day. And then I can either continue on with this or move on to something else. So with that, my friends, I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. I want to thank each and every one of you for joining me, and I will see you next time.